Hi, it's Jeff Jackson here with another edition of Telecom Tips from Telephone Magic. Today we're going to feature the Avaya Nortel 1100 series IP phones. Um, all you have to do to start is go to telephonemagic.com and then uh, from the home page, uh, you'll see right here in the first row of phones, we have the Avaya Nortel. 1100 series phones. Now these are IP phones for uh, Avaya and Nortel, uh, BCM and things like that. Uh, the communication server as well. Avaya, when they took over the SMB uh, platform from Nortel, um, they continued to produce these phones and they're all branded with the Avaya name now. Uh, so this is great because it's a continuation of service for Nortel customers as well that may have used these phones previously. Uh, and uh, we're going to go right through the entire line here. We'll start off with the 1110. Now this is a single line standard level desktop IP phone. Uh, it has the cutting edge sort of ergonomics of the series, uh, but it is a little more limited. So we're going to actually go right to the individual page for this phone. And uh, you'll see here that it is a single line telephone. Uh, it's got a backlit uh, monochrome anti-glare display so it's a, it's a fairly small display it's only 143 by 32 in the pixel count um, uh, it's got four soft keys here you'll see um, and it does have a, a navigation cluster this is kinda cool because it's very much like your cable TV remote uh, for navigating through features and whatnot it does also have eight fixed keys so these are the um, fixed keys right here for putting people on hold and a variety of different normal sort of everyday uses for uh, phone users. This is going to be a phone that's probably going to be uh, used in a lobby or um, maybe a hallway or potentially in a warehouse uh, situation where the person that would be coming to use the phone may not be uh, situated there all the time uh, and a phone that anybody can use to you know, get through to reception uh, or to make outbound calls. So that's the uh, initial set in the series and again uh, it's the 1110 IP phone uh, and now we move to the 1120 uh, the 1120 now is just, uh, as you can see here, a much bigger display. It's 240 by 80. It is also a multi-line telephone now, uh, and it has the uh, uh, four-line or programmable feature keys and four soft keys. Now the four keys are right here. There's two on either side of the display. Um, and um, they can be programmed for whatever kind of uh, feature or line appearance or whatnot that you'd like to see. Uh, it does also have the four-way nav cluster, uh, and it does have an integrated Ethernet 10100 uh, base T switch with LAN and PC auto sensing ports. Uh, give you a lot of flexibility with the set. It supports the expansion module as well for the 1100 series. Uh, voice message and incoming calls and feature status indicators have LEDs. Uh, it does support power over Ethernet but also a local AC power option so if you want to use the adapter locally uh, if you're not actually providing your uh, power rate over the Ethernet then the AC power adapter is a great great feature. You can also upgrade the firmware of this set right in the field. So uh, that's the 1120E, more sort of a standard desk phone for uh, office users. The 1140E is more of a set now that you would see uh, for executives, managers, call center managers as well. It's a multi-line set. It's got a backlit monochrome high-res display. It's 240 by 160 so you can see the display now is getting longer and longer uh, and offering far more flexibility. 14 fixed keys throughout the set. If you, uh, you go throughout the, uh, the display of the phone, it's, it's got a lot of fixed keys and also has still the soft keys at the top of the set that will change based on whether you're in your uh, directory or whether you're into voicemail or features or things like that. Has the four-way nav cluster, which is sort of a standard feature of this 1100 series Nortel Avaya line. So all of the new phones you'll find uh, that are brand new are going to have the Avaya logo on them. And in the refurbished market, you may find them with the Nortel logo. Uh, either way, it's the same phone, and uh, the great news is you've got lots of flexibility in the pricing then as well. 
It has a, a wired and a Bluetooth headset support, the 1140E, which is great. Uh, most people uh, that are going to be on the phone a lot, power users, are going to want to use a headset of some sort. It also supports both the Nortel Communication Server Protocol and SIP as well. Uh, it's got integrated USB uh, and that supports uh, mice, uh, keyboard, uh, keyboard emulation devices, powered hubs, uh, and it supports the expansion module as well, of course, for the 1100 series, which we'll get to in just a moment. So that is the 1140E. We move now to the 1150E phone. You can either click on the phone itself, the picture, um, or you can click on the title here. But you can also get a quote directly from this index page. The 1100 series page offers the ability to literally input into the quantity here. Um, there you go. You can actually just put the quantity in and you can do it for multiple phones as well, just so you know. And then hit any of the get a quote buttons and it'll automatically tally everything up for you. But as well, when you go to the uh, physical page uh, for the phone, you have another quote option down at the bottom. And then we give you uh, up to the date um, pricing. Uh, the one thing about putting pricing on websites, it's always changing, always flexible, always based on market demand, and we'll give you an up-to-date quote based on uh, the volume of sets available and the pricing from uh, a variety of different sources. Now, the 1150E is uh, quite uh, an IP phone. When you when you look at it, it's, it's an amazing uh, looking device, very much space age. Uh, in its design supports up to 12 lines or programmable feature keys now those are the six keys here uh, three on each side and then with a page button it actually becomes 12 the four contact sensitive buttons are still uh, on the uh, bottom of the display here it's a very large display as well uh, there are seven additional fixed keys with built-in LEDs uh, they're dedicated for IP contact center agents so if you're actually in a call center uh, these keys are just for you it's got the high-res fully backlit graphical eight-level grayscale uh, pixel based display so it's it's quite a, an advanced display built-in USB uh, port again supporting uh, all of the devices we mentioned uh, earlier uh, with the 1140e uh, and it's got that integrated 10 100 and thousand base T Ethernet switch supports uh, to uh, gigabit e uh, it, it supports the gigabit e uh, gigabit Ethernet um, speeds on both LAN and PC ports now it supports the expansion module as well which is kind of neat you can see that this phone does not actually have a handset but it does support those expansion modules uh, so you can add up to three of uh, the 18 key uh, additional line and programmable uh, features per module. So, and it's supported by the BCM uh, 50, uh, the 200, the 400, the 450, the communication server line, uh, media gateway servers, and things like that. So, uh, this particular phone uh, in the 1100 series is very flexible in all ways. And uh, again, as you can see, it's just loaded with features. Contact center agents are going to find this a, a wonderful set. Um, so finally, we move now in the phone section to the 1165E. Now, you'll see right away, this is a color display. Uh, it's high-res, graphical, fully uh, backlit, and uh, with a QVGA res of 320 by 240 uh, And it's an LCD display as well. Uh, it's increased personalization, uh, which is what's being offered here through multiple color schemes, color background images, uh, digital picture frame mode to display images, even when the phone's not in use. Uh, it's got secured communication with both standard based signaling and media path encryption along uh, with network authentication for controlled access. Integrated Bluetooth support again, 2.1 Bluetooth support um, and uh, that's an audio gateway support, standard headsets, profiles uh, for enhanced mobility. Uh, USB support as well for the mouse, keyboard, card readers, headsets, uh, flash memory devices, and it supports the uh, is the 1100 series expansion module as well, and has that uh, gigabit uh, Ethernet support. 
So that's the 1165E, and now finally again, um, we get to the expansion module for the Nortel Avaya 1100 series phones. And you can add up to three of these devices again. This offers 18 additional self-programmable line and feature keys per module, and up to three of them supported in the 1100 series on, Bo on the 1120E, the 1140E, the 1150E, and the 1165, which was the color set we just uh, looked at. Um, it's a high res 118 by 414 pixels. So from top to bottom here, quite a long display. And as you can see, very easy to read the, uh, the DSS keys, for instance, if you want one touch access to transfer calls uh, to see line status as well from uh, other people within the network. Uh, and it's got an optional backlighting of the display as well, and it's wall mountable using standard jack pins or mounting screws. And again, uh, just like all the other sets, you can uh, get a quote directly from the individual page or from the index page. And finally, there's the power supply, and that is just to be used if you're going to do local power as opposed to PoE, power over Ethernet. So when it's not available, you just grab one of these uh, one of these uh, power supplies, and uh, that will take care of the powering of the phone. So that is it. The 1100 series Nortel Avaya, or Avaya Nortel as it is now, Avaya making the new sets. Some of the refurb sets will say Avaya as far as their logo, logo, and uh, some of the uh, sets will obviously have the Nortel logo in the refurb uh, series because of course you're going to be uh, dealing with a set that started out with uh, a Nortel brand and it was a Nortel set but when Avaya took over the SMB platform from uh, Nortel they took the best of Nortel and integrated it and brought it over and supported it continuing into uh, their own series of uh, products so uh, great to have the support of a, a large uh, robust company like Avaya now for a continuation of Nortel devices. And in this case, it's the 1100 series IP phones, Nortel Avaya. We appreciate you uh, watching. By all means, uh, like us, favorite, uh, give us some comments, and uh, we look forward to you subscribing to our channel here at Telephone Magic. This has been another edition of Telephone Tips, uh, Telecom Tips from Telephone Magic. Thanks for watching.